Hi there. It's September 14th, and let's talk education, shall we? Specifically, let's talk about what the Wisconsin State Legislature has done and could do to help our school districts deal with the current semester and COVID. To begin with, they have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. They have not even met since April 15th, and the state GOP has offered no guidance to school districts at all. In fact, the last bill they passed, Act 185, which dealt with COVID, included no guidelines for school districts, but does require them to somehow create and report on best practices for virtual instruction. Now, in Senate District 28, we have around 30,000 school-age kids, and the districts have followed a variety of paths regarding opening this fall. Some have fully opened, others started virtually, some offered hybrid options. And in each case, the decision was ultimately up to the local school board, which makes perfect sense. Whether you agreed or disagreed with your board's decision, well, that's a whole different conversation. Now, the state GOP has deliberately chosen to put all the responsibility on the individual school districts. And again, that's fine. COVID hit some areas harder than others, and our local boards should be able to make those decisions. And while the state GOP gave 100% of the responsibility to school boards, what is a clear dereliction of duty is they gave them no authority to actually deal with the situation. Here's what I mean. The state GOP has restricted municipalities and school districts from raising revenue. And regardless of the plan made by the school boards, you know every district is going to have a significant increase in expenses due to COVID. If a district is going virtual, that will create hardware and internet expenses, training for teachers so they can create and report on the virtual education best practices the state now requires. If a district is returning to in-person classes, it must still improve air filtration systems and cleaning processes. For example, the Oak Creek Franklin School District plans on doubling the air exchange rate in classrooms and also changing filters from MERV 11 to MERV 13 but that reduces airflow. So now more powerful ventilation is required. Social distancing of students may require more classrooms to be used. Improved cleaning methods require more cleaning staff and equipment. The list goes on and on. And in reality, all the districts will likely plan for both virtual and in-person classes. So we know every district will have significant unexpected expenses. And Julian Bradley supports the GOP restriction on local government's ability to raise revenue. He says he wants local control for you, but yet he doesn't actually support allowing local control. And neither does the state GOP. So they have put districts in a situation where a wealthier district may well have the resources to do what they need to do. And the GOP will point and say, see what a wonderful job they did because we didn't interfere. And at a poor school that fails, they will point and say, see what a terrible job they did and what terrible decisions that board made. By choosing not to do anything, the GOP will claim victory regardless of the outcome. So what should be done? Well, smart fiscal responsibility oftentimes means investing. The legislature, which controls the budget, should offer a fixed percentage to schools across the board to do what they need to do. The money must be used for COVID planning and implementation, regardless of what that is. Any price gouging from contractors should be considered a criminal offense. And for those thinking about private schools, charter and choice schools, yes, we help all the children in the state. We shouldn't see a distinction here because COVID doesn't see a distinction. Folks, this is why I'm running. Because we can be smarter than a meme. The state GOP cares only about its own power. Julian Bradley will do as he's told by the GOP as he has for 18 years. They've offered nothing to you. The simple goal here should be to normalize education for your kids while allowing local school districts to maintain their responsibility. But in order for them to succeed, we have to provide the authority and resources to live up to that responsibility. That's how the government can do the right thing for everyone regardless of party, and that's my sole goal.